Welcome to the 1980s Gladiator Round Tournament. Today's matchup features Lee Labrada versus Rich Gaspari. Two of the all-time greats for sure. Lee Labrada is taking it here in the front relaxed position. Look at that waistline. Those chiseled obliques. Now, this isn't a very good picture of Rich Gaspari, but strangely enough, it, there was not a lot of photographs of this man. Competition. Plenty of photo shoot pictures. He is much more massive than Lee Labrada here, but Labrada much more refined. and Just aesthetically, he gets a 10 plus, and I have to say, Rich Gaspari doesn't have the prettiest physique out there. So, one nothing, Lee Labrada. Gaspari is actually able to tie things up here, in my opinion. Now, I think the shadowing is playing some tricks there, making his waist seem a little bit smaller, but... What the heck, I don't think this is the best pose for Lee Labrada. Perhaps his worst, and that's surprising because it looks pretty good. I could easily see how somebody could give this to Lee Labrada, but I'm going to edge out a victory here for Gaspari. The front lat spread is clearly a Lee Labrada pose. What an incredible pose for this man. Rich Gaspari, definitely not the best for him. He had several poses that just... They didn't work with his type of physique, and this front lat spread was definitely one of them. I mean, conditioning-wise, he is decent. He's good, always. Rich Gaspari, but that silhouette belongs to Lee Labrada. Now, the side chest. Eh, this isn't quite so cut and dry. I think I'm actually going to go with Rich Gaspari. Things are pretty equal in the arms and the legs, perhaps. But when I look at the chest, in particular the side chest, and of course that is this pose. Rich Gaspari has about a half a foot thick of meat hanging from his chest. Edging out just a slight victory, but I could understand how there could be some argument for Lee Labrada having this pose. Labrada is pretty hard to beat here in the side tricep, and Rich Gaspari does not have the package to do so. Wow, just incredible. Aesthetically, there is none better, I don't think. Maybe Serge Nebre, but geez Louise, Lee Labrada looks fantastic. And me mechanically as well, look at that tricep itself. He is like Frank Zane with meat. So it looks like Lee Labrada is taking the lead in this competition, but it's still fairly close. Ah, uh, yes, the first and I'm afraid the only back shot in this comparison. I have Lee Labrada winning this one, clearly. It's funny, he's a he's much smaller from the front, but turn it around and Lee Labrada's back development seems to be right on par with the much larger Rich Gaspari's. He has much better back development, in my opinion. Rich, of course, has those striated glutes, but I think Lee Labrada is every step of the way there with him. And look at them hamstrings. They're not as big, but look at how cut they are. And the part of Lee Labrada... He's taking an easy point here in the rear double bicep. This both muscular really could go either way, depending on your taste. I'd normally prefer the hands-on hips version, and coming from Lee Labrada, I would usually expect that type of version, and the crab actually looks fantastic on the part of Labrada. I have to give him the edge in this. He just looks too good now. Before this competition, I would have said Rich Gaspari would have had the edge in the most muscular for sure. But lay it down on paper here, and I'm giving this to Labrada. And here we have the final pose, the ab and thigh shot. And I'm going to give this one also to Lee Labrada. Rich Gaspari does look good in this pose. For a guy that's not very aesthetic, I am surprised how good his ab and thigh really is. But Lee Labrada, look at that tiny little waist. Could not get any smaller. And he, it just comes down to a perfect V taper. I admit those legs could use a little bit more meat, but perhaps a little more striated than uh, Rich Gaspari's. So Lee Labrada advances on. And Lee Haney versus Lee Labrada promises to be an awesome matchup. Now, I know most people would vote for Lee Haney in that one, but as you may know, I definitely favor the aesthetic bodybuilders. Big time, especially in the 80s, these aesthetic guys were just fantastic. Lee Labrada definitely has a chance to dethrone this Lee Haney. But of course, the first or the next matchup in this tournament features Gary Stridham against Bertle Fox. And that one is going to be an outstanding comparison also. 
So, it's down to the final four, guys. This is exciting. One of these four. Get your votes in now and get your guesses in. Because one of these four guys is going to be crowned king of the 1980s. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.